Alright guys, back with the AK stock adapter videos. Sorry it's taken me a while to get this last one completed, but I had a few things come up and I also needed to order some more tools, but anyway. I'm gonna I need to countersink the holes here in the piece of aluminum. I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh let's see. I can get it to focus. I need to put a slight countersink in the aluminum because the screws can't get tightened all the way. So anyway, I ordered these set of countersink bits. They're 82 degree single flute countersinks from Enco, and also got a set of transfer punches. And what the transfer punch will allow me to do is to transfer my line through my screw hole. If you can see, in the very center of the punch, it's got a point that'll make the, uh, it'll mark where my holes need to be on this piece here. So what I'll need to do is place this piece on the receiver and get it lined up as evenly as I can. And then I'll take this transfer punch and put through the screw holes and it'll make the marks on the aluminum where I need to drill that. So that's what we're going to do next. Alright so I got the rifle and the vise and you can see my rubber. I've got a piece of rubber to protect the receiver from getting marred from the jaws of the vise. But anyway, what I will do now is I will try to center this piece up the best I can over the back end and I'll probably even run some blue painters tape around it to get it centered up the best I can and then I'll strike my marks with the, with the uh, punches there with the transfer punches I'll go ahead and get it taped up and uh, be back alright so this rifle dynamics stock adapter is just a hair wider than the receiver so I'll try to even it up as best I can and run some painters tape around it to try to hold it as even as possible. Now just check it, check the fit all the way around, make sure it's as even as possible and get it ready to strike the, the screw holes with the center punches, with the transfer punches. Alright guys, I'll show you here. I got the, the base of this piece as flat with the bottom of the receiver as I possibly can. And let me show you here. The adapter is just a little bit wider than the receiver, so it hangs over just a hair on either side of the piece. So that's what we want, just even as much as I can there. But I'll triple check it again and uh, strike my marks there. Alright, so I got the adapter evened up about as good as I can get it. And I'm going to go ahead and strike my marks there. The transfer punch I'm going to use is a 530 seconds and it fits the best in the hole. The next one up will not fit in the hole. But I'll just place it in and it, it self centers itself and then you strike your strike it and it marks the hole dead center of the hole. Alright guys, I got it centered up as best as I can, so I'm going to go ahead and strike it with this transfer punch. I'm going to kind of lightly strike it, just to make sure I get it 
centered pretty good. I'll check out here in a minute. Let me see if that, how that looks. Yeah, it made a slight mark in the center of it. I'll pull it off so you can see. Alright, we'll pull it off there and see how the marks look. And I think you can probably see there, they're pretty good. It's just exactly what we need. Alright guys, got the holes marked, so now I'm going to pull our piece out. Guys, I want to roughly level up this drill press table here. I know this isn't the most precise way to do it, but can get it pretty doggone close. Really need a set of dial indicators, but uh, just going to check it, and make sure it's right every each direction. And once I get that leveled up and tightened down, we'll get on to our drilling. Alright guys, so I got my XY vise trued up as best I can and uh, we'll put the piece in there and try to true it up best I can and drill our hole. Alright guys, this is just a junky Harbor Freight drill press. But I think I can do what I need to do with it for the time being until I'm able to get me a good drill press. But I'm going to start out with the center drill slash countersink. Make sure I get these holes started in the center for sure. I've already started this hole, but the drill press has some inaccuracy to it, so I need to engage the bit before I start drilling because it wobbles just a little bit, but uh, we'll get it set up and drill our hole there. I right, got my bit started in the hole and cut it on here and drill our center hole there. switch over to the next hole. Alright, I got it lined up and in the center of the hole, like I said, it's got a little bit of wobble to it, but we're going to get this center hole drilled out a little. move on to the number 29 drill bit. Alright, I believe we got it lined up about as best as I'm going to get it, so let's drill this hole. Hole. 